Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Monday, the 4th of January, 2021. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather cool and dry through Wednesday. Rain comes back Thursday of this week. Here we go. Very energetic wave pattern across North America. One wave will be moving east of the state today, pulling down some pretty chilly air we feel this morning. It's down to 24 at Aniana at 440 a.m. Haleyville 26, Birmingham at 33 Highs today will be in the 50s in most spots. There's the watch warning map around the country. Dense fog problems for parts of the Midwest and scattered winter weather issues in the Northwest. Down here, we're quiet. There's the severe weather outlook today. Maybe some thunder for the northern part of the Pacific coast. Otherwise, things are quiet. No thunder tomorrow. And day three, Wednesday, a chance of thunderstorms on the western Gulf Coast. But again, nothing severe expected. Here's the rain for the next seven days in Alabama. The amount's about one half inch. We'll have rain on Thursday. The next chance of rain beyond that will be as the weekend ends late Sunday or Sunday night, as you'll see. So let's go through modeling. This is the GFS. This is the 06E run, valid today at 3. Again, shortwave energy east of the state. And for us, the sky should be partly to mostly sunny today with a high in the upper 50s in most spots, which is a little above average for this time of the year, but pretty close. Tomorrow is sunny day with mid-50s. This is Wednesday. We're dry. The next system showing off to the west. Again, high should be in the upper 50s. The sky partly to mostly sunny. And Thursday, that feature comes in here with rain. We'll have a cloudy day Thursday, periods of rain, a cool day, highs probably low 50s. And again, about a half inch of rain is likely with that feature. And then this is Friday, very deep trough that brought the rain Thursday moving on to the east and uh, we are dry with a clearing sky, maybe some lingering light rain Friday morning, and there might even be a snowflake, a very cold core upper low comes in, a snowflake Friday morning up over the Tennessee Valley, but again, if that happens, no impact or accumulation, otherwise clearing Friday and cool with highs in the 40s. Saturday as the weekend begins, nothing but sunshine. We start the day below freezing. The high will be close to 50. And this is Sunday. It looks like the day will be dry. The next feature coming in from the west, and that will bring rain in here Sunday night. This is Sunday night at midnight. And Monday, a troughing over the east. That feature is on by. Uh, the weather begins to dry. We do note the European is much slower with that feature showing a low in the northeastern Gulf of Mexico Monday with uh, a chance of some snow for the northern part of the state late Sunday night or early Monday morning. And again, uh, at this point, that's nothing but deterministic output. Doesn't mean a lot. I'll show you the ensemble output here in just a second. But one way or the other, we'll say the next chance of precipitation will be Sunday night and maybe into Monday of next week. Let's go out 10 days. This is Wednesday of next week, the 13th. Next wave off to the west. Uh, rain begins to move back in. So at the rate we're going, we'll see these uh, rain-producing systems every three or four days for a while. Uh, this is the uh, teleconnection look for the North Atlantic Oscillation, the NAO. Just wanted to quickly show these. Haven't done it lately. Uh, notice how it stays negative. Uh, the mean, this is the European. You're looking for the green line. Stays negative on through the 19th. And the Arctic Oscillation stays negative as well. And typically with the NAO and the AO being negative like that, uh, the weather down here stays cool and wet. And just maybe, you know, it could open the door for some winter weather mischief down the line. We'll see if that pattern holds. So uh, for the snow fans, this is the output of the European Ensemble. Again, you got 51 members, and we're looking out there Sunday night, Monday of next week, and probably about a dozen... 12 of the 51 suggesting a few snowflakes here. And again, that's nothing but noise at this point. That's not, you want to see a majority of the members before you really get too interested in that. So we'll keep an eye on trends. Rain for Birmingham for the next 15 days. The mean, one to one and a half inches. And temperatures really look pretty close to average for January. Highs most days in the 50s, lows most mornings in the 30s. That's exactly what you expect based on averages this time of the year. And the CPC outlook for January 11th through the 17th, suggesting temperatures here could be a little below average if this verifies. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. 
there are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more.